हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन योर फिजिक्स क्लास फॉर कंप्लीट कोर्स प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड बेल आइकॉन एंड वॉच अवर वीडियोस रेगुलरली थर्मोडाइनामिक प्रोसेस इज अ प्रोसीजर बाय व्हिच द इनिशियल स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम चेंजेस टू इट्स फाइनल स्टेट ड्यूरिंग सच अ चेंज देयर मे बी अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट इनटू अ सिस्टम फ्रॉम इट्स एनवायरमेंट दैट इज पॉजिटिव हीट फॉर एग्जांपल when water boils heat is transferred to the water heat may release from system to its environment that is negative heat similarly some work can be done by the system that is positive work or some work can be done on the system that is negative work when thermodynamic system changes from its initial state to final state it passes through a series of intermediate states this series of intermediate states when plotted on pv diagram is called path the pv curve or pv diagram shown on screen is such a path it tells us the way a system has gone through a change the figure describes different ways in which we can change the state of the system the system is initially at state a the pressure is pi and volume is vi we say that the state is indicated by the coordinates vi pi the final state of the system is shown by the point p with its coordinates v up pf the curve 1 2 and 3 are the different ways in which the changes are brought about let us consider the path 1 during the path 1 pressure decreases as volume increases in this case change is positive hence work done is positive the work done in this process is presented by a shaded area under the curve in second way the state from a to b is shown by path 2 In this case volume increases to V up from a point A up to the point C at a constant pressure PI the pressure then decreases to P up as shown the volume remain constant during this change the system is now in a state B with coordinates given by V up P up The work done in this process is presented by a shaded area under the curve 2. Third way to change the state from A to B is path 3. In this case, pressure decreases from PI to PF, but volume remains same. Next, the volume changes to V up at constant pressure PF. The work done in this process is represented by the shaded area under the curve 3 it is easily noticed that in the three cases we discussed the amount of work done is not same so we conclude that work done by the system depends not only on its initial and final state but also on intermediate states that is on the path along which the change takes place thermodynamic state of a system can be changed by adding heat to the system let us consider a thermodynamic system consisting of an ideal gas confined to a cylinder with a movable frictionless and massless piston to change the initial volume vi of the gas to final volume v up at a constant temperature there can be two ways the first method is elaborated on the screen in this case the gas is heated slowly through external source in a controlled manner so that it expand at constant temperature it reaches to final volume v up isothermally that means without change in temperature the system absorbs a finite amount of heat during this process now the second method 
A gas cylinder is now surrounded by insulated material and it is divided into two compartments by a thin breakable partition. The compartment X has a volume VI and compartment Y has initial volume V-I. The compartment X of cylinder is filled with same amount of gas at the same temperature as that in the first case. The compartment Y is empty. It contains nothing. The initial state of the system is same in both cases. The partition is now suddenly broken. This causes a sudden uncontrolled expansion of volume of the gas. The gas occupies the volume that was empty before the partition is broken. There is no exchange of heat between the gas and its environment because cylinder is now surrounded by an insulated material. The final volume of the system after the partition is broken is VF. In this case, the gas has not done any work during its expansion because piston does not move. Such expansion is called free expansion. A common example of free expansion is adrift puncturing or of an inflated balloon or tire. It is experimentally observed that in both the cases, the initial and final state of the system are same, but the intermediate states or path during the change of state in first and second case are different. To conclude, heat transfer to a system also depends on the path. तो उम्मीद करते हैं आज का विषय आपको समझ में आ गया आपके विचार आप कमेंट बॉक्स में डाल सकते हैं दोस्तों अगर इस चैनल पर आप पूरा कोर्स फ्री में पाना चाहते हैं तो बस सब्सक्राइब का बटन दबाकर नोटिफिकेशन का बेल आइकॉन जरूर दबाएं और यदि आपको वीडियो दिल से पसंद आया तो सोशल मीडिया पे अपने दोस्तों के साथ इस वीडियो को ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करना ना भूलें चलिए दोस्तों फिर मिलेंगे नए वीडियो में बाय बाय